Listen up, nerds. The AFC West should be terrified of the Denver Broncos. And if you already don't know why, I'm gonna tell you why in this video. So be sure to stick around. Let's get into it. If you're anything like me, you're probably shocked that the Broncos have been picked at the bottom of the league by virtually everyone on the internet. And Vegas has their win total set at five and a half games, which is absurd in my brain. And I am literally the most unbiased person on the face of the planet, so that should tell you something when I say that the AFC West should be terrified of the Denver Broncos this season. And before we get into it, if this is one of the first times you've seen my ugly face on your screen, consider clicking the subscribe button, or at least click the thumbs up. It really does help, or you can wait until the end of the video to do that if I earned it from you. And for the Broncos fans watching, you're probably noticing my shirt. Well, those are available for you at the links in the description below, so be sure to check that out. There's other shirts there for you as well. It's never too late to go get some new Broncos merch. Am I right? All right, you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, this guy is a nut job. Who the fuck is that guy? There's no way the Broncos should scare anyone in the AFC West, let alone the entire AFC. What is he even going on about? Well, I'm glad that you asked those questions because I'm gonna give you six reasons why the AFC West and the entire AFC should be terrified of the Denver Broncos this season. First of all, and I've said this in other videos, this team right now is better than they were at this point last year. In fact, the only position that I would even consider this team getting worse at over the offseason was potentially safety. And instead of trying to figure out how we're gonna somehow replace Justin Simmons, we brought in Brandon Jones from the Miami Dolphins. This dude can play. And on the other side, we've got PJ Locke, who was a part of this team's incredible success over their five game win streak last season that included so many takeaways. We went in and beefed up the defensive line with guys like Malcolm Roach and John Franklin Myers. We went in and fixed our linebacker situation with Cody Barton, who's an absolute tackle machine. We drafted a solid pass rusher in Jones Ellis, who's going to get a lot of playing time as a rookie. We've got three other pass rushers who now have another year under their belt in Nick Benito, Baron Browning, and Jonathan Cooper. And on top of that, we have the best cornerback in the entire NFL in Patrick Sertan. So yeah, the defense cannot be worse than it was. Like literally, it cannot be worse than it was last year. And anybody who thinks that they're going to be worse than last year is a smoking crack. I don't know what to tell you. And then on offense, the elephant in the room is the quarterback. And in my humble opinion, again, Totally unbiased. I think that Bo Nix is an absolute upgrade in this Sean Payton system over Russell Wilson. Bo Nix doesn't take sacks. Bo Nix works on time and in rhythm. Bo Nix doesn't put the ball in harm's way. Bo Nix is exactly the kind of quarterback that Sean Payton wants, and that's why Sean Payton went and got him in the first round. And at running back, Javante Williams looks more and more like himself every day now that he's another year removed from his knee injury. I really think that Javante is going to have a great season this year, and he's absolutely going to be the bell cow in this Broncos backfield. And then at receiver, we still have Cortland Sutton. We brought in Josh Reynolds. We drafted Troy Franklin. We've got Marvin Mims coming off a solid rookie season. And not to mention, we've got Greg Dulcich back from injury, who's going to be a massive part in this passing game. This offense is absolutely going to score points, and the defense is absolutely going to give up fewer points than they did last year. If they give up more points than they did last year, I will literally delete my entire YouTube channel. That's how confident I am in this. This team. Another reason why the AFC West should be terrified of the Broncos is because there are absolutely zero expectations on this team. Like I said at the beginning of the video, their win total is set at five and a half wins and media person after media person after media person has them listed as the 31st, 32nd, 28th best team in the entire NFL. So when you look at that, plus them having a rookie quarterback, there are zero expectations on this team. They are just going to go out and play football and have fun with a renewed energy because now they don't have that one guy in their locker room. I'm not gonna say his name. I already said it, it's okay. Another massive reason why the AFC West should be terrified of the Broncos this year is because Sean Payton has never won fewer than seven games. In his entire history as a head coach, Sean Payton has won more than six games every single year he has been a head coach in the National Football League. He won eight games last year with Russell Wilson and a broken defense. So the sky is the limit with a better defense and a quarterback that he actually wants running his system. Am I saying the Broncos are going to go 17-0? 
Maybe. But in reality, they're definitely going to be winning more than five and a half games. That number is just asinine to me. And when all is said and done, the last reason why I think that the AFC West should be scared of the Broncos is simply because it's bound to happen. The Broncos are currently sitting with the second longest active playoff drought. The last time the Broncos went to the playoffs was when we won Super Bowl 50 with Peyton Manning. And ever since then, we have been searching and searching and searching to find the quarterback, to find the answers, to get us back to the top of the mountain where we belong. And it's been eight years. It's bound to happen. The Chargers have had plenty of opportunities with Justin Herbert and a really solid receiving core, which isn't the same as it used to be. The Raiders are currently functioning with a first year head coach and Gardner Minshew at quarterback. And obviously the Chiefs are what the Chiefs are. They're going for a three-peat. So they have the expectations of the world on their back. And the Broncos already dominated them last season with Russell Wilson. So don't be shocked when the Broncos actually have a really good year this year. Don't be shocked when the Broncos don't finish at the bottom of the AFC West this year. Don't be shocked when the Broncos get a wild card spot in this NFL season. Don't be shocked when Bo Nix actually looks like the answer and the franchise quarterback in Denver because you came to this video and you watched it and now you understand. Your eyes have been open to the truth and that is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So like I said, the AFC West should be terrified of the Denver Broncos because they are absolutely coming for the crown. And I'm just gonna sit here and expect it to happen because I know what's gonna happen. So that's it for this video. Get excited, y'all. The NFL season is here. We've got some exciting stuff coming down the pipe. We've got more videos coming out over the next week and a half. We've got prediction episodes. We've got post-game coverage. We've got all kinds of stuff that we're looking to do this season. And so if you wanna be around for all of that, be sure to click that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'm gonna let Tony Scheffler take us out with this one. Let's go!